So still carrying on with the wardrobes because I'm still waiting for the windows. Although I did speak to the window company yesterday and the delay has been because one of the windows I want is out of stock. So I've agreed to have one slightly smaller and they're being dispatched today. So I should be back on windows soon. But before then, I'm going to carry on with the wardrobe here and I'm going to be fitting doors. And I have here a pile of 16mm white melamine sheets and they're going to be cut up to make the doors on here. Now I'm going to use um, concealed hinges or European hinges or kitchen cabinet hinges which I've never actually fitted myself. As you can see this is a test of trying to get them how to fit them and I think I'm okay now. I've had a few goes at it. I've got my drill and my uh, marking gauge and I have in here a big box of hinges. Now it looks like a lot of hinges but I think I'm going to need somewhere around 30, 34 hinges depending on how many I put on a door. And it was cheaper to buy them um, two lots of 20 than it was to buy 10 and a 20 so I've got 40 hinges. So let's have a go. First thing I've done is to cut the door to length. I want it to just overlap on the top here so that the top edge closes against something and the bottom edge will obviously close on the bottom of the wardrobe. I've then marked the positions of the four hinges. I'm putting four on this because it's just under two meters tall and I don't know if you can see but I've drawn a line between the two pieces lined up. Next thing I need to do is mark the hole on the door where the main part of the hinge is going to go and rather than drill through the jig I'm going to actually mark it with a pencil through the hole and then pilot it drill that before drilling the big hole. Now that I've piloted hold the spot where I'm going to be drilling the hole I now need to drill a hole to take this part of the hinge and for that I'm going to use this drill bit which has got a depth stop so I don't go deeper than 11 millimeters because I don't want to go all the way through this piece of wood. During testing of how to fit these hinges I found it quite hard to get the large drill bit right on the right mark that's why I found that pre-drilling a little hole just puts the point of the bigger drill in that and stops it moving. Perfect. 
Next thing is to drill the two holes for the fixings to get this in here. Obviously I don't want to get it not square. A square one. There we go, that bring it nice and square. Now the trick is to drill a hole dead center inside here. And to do that I'm going to use one of these um, which I bought from the local um, supermarket they were had us these on offer you know, so there was only a few pounds and what they do they centre in the hole and when you push on them a small drill bit pops out and drills a hole dead centre in the middle of the hole and it means that the screws are always centred and won't force your hinge to twist they're very useful for any countersunk hole that you have to get the screw in the very centre. is I've already pre-drilled the cabinet for this part and I can then fit the jig with the two lugs into those two holes the bar in the middle gives me the spacer and then I can just mark through there to get the actual centre point for that hole um, this has been working quite well I've managed to fit a couple of doors now using this method and it does seem to be a lot a lot more accurate well I've fitted all the doors on the wardrobe now uh, they fit fairly well there's one Bit that I'm not too happy with but I can cover that up in the next stage because at the moment the wardrobe is a bit bland and a huge white block so I'm going to put some decoration on it and make it a little, a little bit better
Well, there we have it. The last few bits of trimmer have been applied and I've drilled the holes for the door handles. So all that's left to do now is to paint it and finish it off. But that is going to be for another video. For now, with this one, that's it. And my next job is going to be some windows because they have finally turned up so I can change this window in the bedroom at last. <laughs>